Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to give a brief overview of methods, also known as functions, in um, using the C Sharp language for Unity games. So I've actually already created a method here which is being used in this game. So I've got this game environment here. There's not really any characters or anything there yet, but I've got the, in the terrain there and I've got this main camera which has a script attached to it. So um, it's not really set up the way that it should be, um, but I do I do have a script here called my script and I've been working on that in mono develop here and that's the code. Um, so basically um, what you should do first before watching this video is just read the information over methods. So what methods are, um, how to create methods and how to call methods and then hopefully this video will make bit more sense because I'm not going to go over everything in this video so make sure you read all that stuff first but basically I'll give a bit of an overview so I've got the start method here and I've got the update method here and I've got another method that I've actually created so I've got the two default methods that are already in the code to start with and then I've created a new method here which is called apply damage now um, when you create methods there's two different things that you can set up before you actually um, code you know what will occur when that method runs or is called on so the first thing is a return type which we have here as an integer or int and the second thing is parameters which you don't always have to use with methods but in this case was set up to um, method uh, two parameters here so a return type is um, basically methods are able to return a variable back to the code that called it. Okay, so um, this, this method is going to return back a value um, to whatever code called it, which is up here in the start method. We'll have a look at that in a sec. But um, so the return type here is an integer. It's going to return an integer value back. This is the method name here, it's called apply damage. And then there's two parameters separated by a comma and those are integers, okay? One is called damage amount and one is called health. So that's setting up the actual method there. And then inside the method, okay? So just remember the parameters are inside brackets. And then after that, there's curly brackets and whatever code is in there is what's inside the method. So it's a block. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to return back a value to the code that called this method and the value will be health minus damage amount. Okay, so it's going to apply damage to a player. I haven't actually got the player set up yet, but hypothetically it's going to apply damage taken to a player by basically getting their health and taking off a set damage amount. Okay, now that's the actual method that's been created there. Up in the start method here, we call on that um, method just at the start of the game when it runs. So you can have it in the update method, but it's just up here in the start method. So firstly, we set up just a variable here. It's an it's called x and it's an integer. So we have int int x equals, and then this is where we actually call the method. So the method is called apply damage. So we call on that here by putting apply damage and then putting two values there as parameters. So five is the damage amount, and then there's a comma, and 100 is the health. So it's gonna take five as the damage amount and 100 as their health, and then it's, it's gonna put those two values there or pass those two values into the method. The method is then going to return health, which is 100 minus damage amount. So 100 minus five, is 95 and then it's going to print player health as a string there and then um, the value of x which is 95 okay so that's basically what's going on there so there's a bit of concatenation going on here because we've got a string here and then a value an integer value that's being um, displayed it's going to print to the console so that's pretty much it we've got a method here that's defined and then we've got code inside the method. It's going to return an integer value back to this code here that calls it. And the value is basically going to be the result of a health minus damage amount. And those values are actually taken from here. So 100 
minus five. All right, so then it should say player health 95. All right, so save that. It's already attached to my main camera here. So if you run it and look at the console, we get player health 95 displayed in the console. All right, that's um, pretty much it. That's how to create a method and how to call on a method. So methods could be much simpler than this. A method could just do something very simple. It might not even take any parameters. Um, it might not even return anything back. It might not return back a, a variable. Um, but then again, methods can also be much, much more complicated than this. Um, basic rules of a method are that the method name shouldn't have any spaces in it. It should be a meaningful name. Um, and methods should also be used for one purpose. Um, so it shouldn't be used for multiple purposes. A method should just do one clear thing. So in this case here, it applies damage. It just gets a player's health and then takes off a damage amount and returns that value back. back. So it's really just got one purpose. All right, that's it. Um, so if not much of that makes sense, then you need to go back and just read some of the information over um, creating methods and then calling methods. Um, and if you're not sure what parameters are exactly, um, then just go back and read that. But in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at inputs. So we're going to be using some methods that already exist um, in Unity. And those methods can be used to detect keys being pressed on the keyboard or mouse clicks and mouse movement so that we can actually move objects and characters around. All right, that's in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.